classical radio there. Just had to turn that off. Welcome to Fallout 4. Slight, uh, slight detour from the other games we've been journeying through. I am uh, currently standing on a hilltop, overlooking the suburb of Sanctuary Hills, which is a suburb, I believe, of Concord, Massachusetts. We are uh, in the outskirts of Boston, city proper here. It's around 5 a.m., perhaps a little after, in the morning. And the year, I believe, is uh, 2287. We are uh, skipping ahead several decades. In the, uh, in the future, our future, in the year 2077, I believe, or 2070, something like that, a, uh, an unfortunate, most likely avoidable, conflict breaks out. And, uh, nuclear devices are detonated across the continent and other places. Several of them in the, uh, the greater Boston area. And so it has been not quite 200 years since. Probably significantly less than that. <laughs> it's been a while. Some people, uh, did not make it through the conflict. And some people were lucky enough to uh, afford, and or their position afforded them a spot in underground vaults that protected some of the people, some of the population, from uh, whatever that is in the background there. So, the world now is made up of uh, whoever was able to survive be it in a vault or otherwise, and then whoever uh, else might be left, mutated or otherwise. So the game itself follows a, uh, a thrilling storyline of vengeance and lost love, etc., etc., that you're more than, uh, more than welcome to pursue, and I highly suggest it. There is another thing about this game, though, that I find hugely compelling that I wanted to share with you, and that is uh, this settlement mechanic. You have the ability to claim and then manage and build uh, settlements for surviving survivors. Let's just be redundant. And part of that is uh, not just building new uh, shelter for them, new resources, but rather cleaning up the aftermath of the the party, shall we say. And I personally find just the cleaning up of the settlements to be one of the more uh, engaging parts of the game, as great as everything else is. So what I wanted to do was just sort of walk around Sanctuary Hills. This is where we will start. And show you uh, its before state, shall we say, its uncleaned state, and then we'll uh, we'll go through it together and see if we can make any progress towards correcting that. So you can see the uh, the town sign has seen some better days. It's overgrown. There are broken toilets and detritus of all kinds stacked in every corner. So let's start here. This is what I believe would be the, the main entrance into town. If you follow this road down past the, uh, the gas station there with the rocket on top of it, you will uh, eventually come, come to Concord itself. But Sanctuary Hills is located on what appears to be a small island located in the middle of a misty lake two misty river tributaries, whatever you would call those, that uh, skirt around either side of it. So it's a rather nice little secluded area with a good bit of protection from the water for settlers in a mind for that sort of thing. You can see that the bridge was taken out or damaged 
by who knows what. I don't think there's much we're going to be able to do about the bridge. But we'll see what else we can do. As long as it's still uh, functional, we still have this whole, whole side ready to go. That'll be fine for our purposes. So, regrettably, the one uh, annoying thing about this uh, this journey is that in order to build or clean or uh, change the environment, I need to have this menu up, which uh, regrettably takes quite a bit of screen space away from you. So, if you don't mind, please uh, attempt not to uh, to look at this menu. It doesn't matter. Pay no attention to the structures or the light bulb, etc. It's, it's really just in the way. But what it allows me to do is highlight uh, specific items or areas, and I can then manage or remove them. So let's start with the town sign here. Clean up just a little bit of the uh, surrounding shrubbery. More palatable. There we go. As much as I appreciate uh, the rule of law and uh, this sign in particular, I don't believe we will have any cars passing through here at this point that will uh, require the warning. So we'll get rid of that. And then we will very, very carefully try to uh, work around the sign here don't want to remove the sign itself, but just these uh, little bits of vine obscuring the words there. There we go. So now the sign is clean and proper, though a little dilapidated, and shows the name Sanctuary Hills. That is a very fine start. So my, my top priority here is these, uh, these dead bushes, A, um, these dead vines on things, which uh, it just looks much better without. Any sort of large groupings of trees like these, get rid of the, uh, the fire hazards. The second round will be these big piles of leaves in the road that will uh, look quite nice once removed. But on the first go-around, let's try to get these big ticket items, these big areas of rubble or trash. As lovely as this uh, retro-style car appears, let's clear up the space. You may be wondering if it is uh, 2287, why does everything look roughly as though it was uh, in the 50s or, or early 60s? Which is a very good question. Um, in this alternate history world of Fallout, I, I guess the race to atomic power took a more uh, central role in our development as a species. And atomic power became the, uh, the big reliance that we switched away from uh, fossil fuels towards, or whatever that would be. A brief brief break to mention this ruined house. This is probably the, the biggest of ticket items we have here. There are a couple of these scattered throughout. Some of the structures are salvageable, but some of them are just too uh, broken down to save, so we're repurposing all of those materials, recycling them into our workshop bench to create other things. So these will disappear in a blink being broken down into our uh, workbench. Anyway, so the uh, the race to atomic power took central stage, and uh, we were kind of stuck with this uh, this aesthetic. Everything ran on fusion generators, and it was just the golden age of uh, fun times before it all went bad. So that's why everything looks a little strange, even though it was. 2070 something when the bombs fell, which is the essentially the time you're seeing frozen 
It is far in the future now, but no progress was really made during those last uh, hundred years or so. So I'm trying to skirt through and take out big, uh, big items. Some pieces of uh, grass like this that just serve to add some texture to the ground, otherwise it would just be flat. Dirt, I'm going to come back and revisit those because there may be some that we want to keep. It's big dead bushes, big dead vines. Get out of here. It's a little hard to catch the right angle sometimes. So pardon me if it appears that I am uh, flailing wildly. It's probably the case. Big dead hedges will be a nice item to remove and give us some fresh air in here. This is lovely. All right. So even just this little corner, once you've removed the uh, the tall dead things, it uh, it just ends up. Very satisfying, and clean, and nice. So then you can take it a step further. Let's uh, dial in to this particular area while I have you. Let's clean up some of the trash, some of the littler piles of leaves. Downed trees in the way. Concrete has dissolved, or whatever you would say. So there are occasionally places like this where you remove all the grass and you're still left with a, a dirty spot, but oh well. We may be able to clean up some of that in the uh, construction phase, if we ever get to that. But this is just about the cleaning, let's be honest. Don't want any of that new, uh, new growth. We just want to destroy. So you can get very distracted in the, uh, the little details. Trash and, uh, and weeding the paths. But let me get back to the main, main, uh, items here. Wherever I can, I will try to go on little sprees of clearing up a road or whatever, just to keep the flow of things. Blood spatter from, uh, from earlier. I think that was probably me. There were some mutated uh, cockroaches that had taken up residence here. Must have been the Russell household. Long gone, I imagine. Let's get rid of that toilet, oh yeah. Love seeing all that, uh, all that trash disappear from the roadways. It's just incredibly satisfying to me. I don't know if that's some sort of a syndrome that I'm developing, or what. So if this is hideously boring to everyone else, do let me know. Maybe it's uh, it's just a ha hobby of mine. 
but I always find it interesting. from the microphone, too. I'm sorry if you can hear all my clicky-clicking. There'll be a lot of that. A lot of clicky-clicking. a nice clean uh, clean entry road some of the grass is not removable but that's okay we'll occasionally find things that aren't removable that we would very much like to remove and uh, we're just gonna have to live with it luckily those vines were not one of them Nice little town sign. Not sure if I like that uh, little sapling. I'm gonna leave it for now. This whole process has a bit of a a Bob Ross element to it. That if it's not hurting anything. Why change it? Really? You're just sort of going through and making uh, making little changes that feel right. Get those vines off of that tree. It's just a tripping hazard. Can't have that. So, a couple of bits of trash down in the water. Some uh, old wood and barrels. I apparently can't remove that old wood. That seems strange, but alright. Let's remove that car frame, though. see that uh, glowing green barrier just on the edge there. That's actually the build barrier. So if I was to go outside of it, I would leave workshop mode in uh, about five seconds, it seems. So that's the limit of what we'll be able to uh, clean up or build. Everything out there is wild country. Untamable. But while we're in the, the green section, we should Big foliages that no one needs, no one asked for. Alright, so we have a cleaner coastline. If I can get rid of this. There we go. No, still not. Huh. I think that might be just glitching out. We should be able to remove it, but. I'll give it a free pass. So let's uh, skirt the water line here while we're while we have our boots wet. What else can we get rid of in the misty river? As you get closer to the uh, to the edge of the build area, things will not be scrappable. Like if they're just outside, sometimes they're not. We got lucky; that one was perfect. Oh, scrap! Poor guy's skeleton. Sorry, sir. All right, even most of these rocks for now. We can decide. Later, if we don't want uh, rocks. Garden hose will sure come in handy. Oh yeah, old wood plank. 
tanks. The roots. Get out of here. Thistles, if uh, that's your bag, no particular bag. Right back across the water, there's uh, some good construction debris here. And an old bathtub. Some of this uh, stuff, by the way, you can, even if it's stuck halfway in the ground, Instead of just scrapping it for materials, you can uh, grab it sometimes and repurpose it into something else. Like if you place it elsewhere, rotate it around, etc. But I don't really think we need a, an old bathtub at this point. I might be keeping a guy fly out. Some stuff is stuck halfway in the ground and just looks like trash, but it's actually a usable item. Most likely I'll be scrapping all of those without even, uh, noticing. But who knows? Some stuff also has, uh, other things in it, like if I was to scrap this, it would actually take the ceramic from the toilet itself, and if there's anything in that first aid kit, it would actually switch it all to my, uh, workshop. You can also get out of workshop mode and then manually Stim packs, for example, are basically first aid health kits in this. It's what restores your health on the fly. So it's always good to collect stim packs. And then it's always good, especially at the start of the game, to have purified water. You do need to drink water, and water like this would be irradiated even this long after the event. So purified. Now that that first aid kit is empty, you can go back into workshop mode and remove it. Small detour. So some of these are not uh, natural rocks. They're actually the stones from this wall that has fallen over. Clear that tree branch. So I want to keep the natural rocks, but go ahead and clean the wall rocks. Something new out of them. I could put them back up here, perhaps. Blah, blah, blah. We've got options. There we go. Just make it look like somebody knew what they were doing at one point. Really, that's not the case at all. Get out of here. And I'm gonna remove this little mud pile just because I don't think it's I don't think it's adding much. There we go. So, relatively clean path to the bridge. Let's clean up just a few more bits down at the end of this hallway. It's a big, big stone. I may want to use that for something later. So I will not remove it for now. Remember, uh, there's a big, big stone down here if, if we want it. I love these trees that have the overgrowth on the bottom. At least when it allows you to remove it, I love them. But maybe it won't. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay. I was gonna say, I like removing things like that. But okay. Guess it's going to rob me. Some vines. calling me greedy in as subtle and generous a way as it knows how. Definitely a nice old shopping cart. It's lovely. Big piles of trash, old cinder blocks, underwater, and above water. something that you can also exit workshop mode, something that's very, very close, that's light enough to pick up. You can actually pick up and uh, drop it into your workshop area. And then scrap it. There we go. Very occasionally that even works on things that are like far, far outside the area. You can drag in some traffic cones and scrap them for extra materials if you're in an emergency. An emergency for traffic cone material. I am going to go ahead before I make any uh, terrible mistakes here and quick save it. Real quick. Just in case. Who knows what might happen? Last little bit of cleanup detail on these. Watery bushes. Trimming the verge. Nice little stump there. but it is also being glitched. Or something. So we'll just pretend that that bathtub isn't there. Just let my eye gloss right over it. And it'll be fine. Just machete my way through the undergrowth here. Alright. Since we got the, uh river taken care of. Let's get back into the town proper. This is extraneous cleanup work that doesn't need to be done. But it is, uh, it is actually quite hard to stop once you get on a roll is, is the problem. Yeah, yeah, I'll take some of that and some of that and oh yeah. And it could be that I'm robbing you of that part of the experience. I don't know if that's important or not. Hopefully we can find out together. But anyway, as I was saying, away from the under undergrowth and back into town proper. Let's go back along the uh, river to our town sign so that I don't skip skip through sections. Alright, back to our nice clean entry road. Looking good. So I guess we could start uh, with this house. 
being the closest to the entrance here. for any decade. Alright, so that, though it looks like trash, is actually a usable, uh, usable cooking station. Free of charge. Oh, lucky. So let's see, where could we put that? Since we cleared out this ruined house, we have a nice wide expanse of, a uh, free space here. So I might just grab that cooking station and put it up here while we're cleaning. Oh, I love getting rid of those big hedges. Should we do it now? Let's do it now. Oh yeah. There we go. Much improved view. I kind of like that stump, but it's in a weird spot. I'm not sure we should remove it or leave it. I'll leave it for now. Oh yeah, clean up that big trash. But don't get distracted by it. Hopelessly overgrown. There's nothing, nothing to do but uh, move on. Because these people did not have their name on their mailbox, which is perfectly understandable. Little ammunition that they got in the mail apparently just before the uh, collapse. So let's get this out of their driveway. Sure, they appreciate that. We'll have a nice cooking station over here. All right. Scrap some old tiles. I have uh, gone through. And just so you know, if you, if you were playing this vanilla from scratch, you would not have these lamp posts or these uh, solar-powered lights. Solar street light. I uh, went through ahead of time and put those out just in case it gets dark here. We'll have a little ambiance. Because I believe time is advancing. And we may be uh, getting close to a sunset even soon. So just so you know, you might not see those on a, on a clean playthrough, but it's a little something-something I cooked up. Alright, checking for trash. Trash and cans. Take a broom to this whole area. So some of these chairs are in pretty uh, good shape, like this one's fine, but this one will pretty much never be really a chair again, and it's just a hazard to everyone, so I'll scrap that. Don't think we'll be eating off of this old TV dinner tray again. Scrap that. But this chair, this table, and this chair are all pretty Coffee cup. How quaint. There. Let's 
grab that chair. Sure, you can keep your stool. Who am I to rob a person of their stool? I guess there's nothing in the linen closet. Old, old can of, like, uh, beans. Or peaches that I... There, there, finally, yes. Canned dog food. Nice. Come in handy when I get, uh... Particularly hungry. Slash when I go down the uh, the street and meet dog meat. I love dog meat. Okay. So this looks fairly usable. This isn't bad. First pass, at least, I would say this house is pretty good. Or the kitchen of the house is pretty good. There's much more. Not sure if I want to keep that rug. I I'm hoping I could get uh, a better rug at some point. Let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna hope for a better rug. That's I'm just gonna try to put my faith in the future of rugs. Leave some of those light fixtures for now. Never understood why you would have a welcome mat inside. That's that's just weird. Welcome! Okay. Documents. Old ceiling fans. And whatever that is. A thermostat. Cool. Read that with my menu up there. The Adventures of Captain Cosmos. Thursdays at 8 p.m. Co-starring Jangles the Moon Monkey. It's one of the, uh, the lore-relevant uh, bits of trivia you may need to know, or else you'll be like, what is he doing? Is that because of the massive collapse of society and everyone's ability to... Uh, agree that uh, currency has value. The main currency now of the wasteland, anyone who's alive, is bottle caps. There's a, a product in the game called a Nuka-Cola. I can't imagine what that would be based off of. And uh, the bottle caps from the actual glass bottles of cola are the currency of the world. So that was a little stash of caps, uh, bottle caps, which is akin to money. And then hilariously over here, you see there's a huge wad of cash that's labeled pre-war money, and that's uh, effectively useless. Bottle caps are are more have more value than than a bunch of paper. All right. While I admire this dresser greatly, it's uh. It's seen better days. But I do need something to put the radio on, so I'll just leave it. So there is a safe down there. I could, uh... Try to access before removing. What is this? Clock radio or something? On now. Alright. Bathtub, I'll leave. Bath mat, 
that I'll leave. And towel rack. Only one. Don't be greedy. I, I, I'll get you a new toilet, I swear. You don't need to be using that. Okay. So, before we leave the house, let me take a quick... If I only had a bobby pin. No bobby pins. Never mind. We actually need a hairpin, bobby pin, to be able to pick the lock. And I don't have any yet, but hopefully I'll find some soon. So I think that should be getting pretty close to done for this house. And... The sun appears to be going down. Move the eerie green glow of my uh, workshop border there. Not necessary. So, yes, it is uh, getting late. And you can see the lights have started to turn on automatically. That's just a mod I have. That's nothing that I did. Keep cleaning here, but we may have to find an area indoors uh, overnight to work on. But before the last light leaves, let me get rid of a few more of these big things. I mentioned earlier. And occasionally if it's like a new enemy that has come into your uh, your settlement and you've killed them in your settlement, they don't they're not treated as like items like old corpses. But you can usually like grab them and throw them in a ditch somewhere. Which helps. Helps in the cleaning process. Get in that ditch, you So since it is getting late, I have my uh, my trusty flashlight here to help us during the uh, the evening hours. This is a heavy one, apparently. Can't even run. And I suppose I am just. Uh, Telekinesing these? I, I apparently have no hands. No hands or arms to speak of. I'm just a psychic janitor. Post apocalypse psychic janitor. And you're all very welcome. Great opportunity to get rid of that nasty ivy. There we go. So things take on a, a rather different uh, feeling in the middle of the night, when the sun is not illuminating all these bright blue pastel colors. This, uh, by the way, is Codsworth, as you may be seeing. Codsworth, the robot butler. He was, uh, before the collapse in, in 2070, whatever it was, Everyone had one of those. That was that was common. They're called Mr. Handies. And they help you ar out around the house. And with uh, 
feeding the baby, etc. Run purely off of atomic fusion. Just let it feed your baby, it's fine. So Codsworth is a dear, uh, dear friend. And he just, he's just waiting there for something interesting to happen. Slash, for more settlers to arrive so that he can take care of them. But it's too dirty for anyone to live here right now, so... That's what's at stake here. Codsworth is lonely. We gotta hurry up and fix this place. So for whatever reason, just because it has like a nice wide overhang and they decided to put most of the pre-made uh, workshop workbenches in here. Like this is what actually, this is what I'm using to uh, modify the place. A, a workshop allows you to, to do this and go into this mode. So I always think of this house, because it was placed there by default, as the hub, the uh, the city hall, shall we say, of Sanctuary Hills, the main building. So I'm wondering if we should work on this one overnight. Get rid of some more of this trash here. And uh, the goal being to try to get... Uh, this up and working, maybe put some beds in it, make sure there's water. I think around back here there's a little farm section. Yes, that has melons, etc. So this might be a good spot to start uh, working on if we needed a project, but there's so much left to clean. And I'm not sure how how long exactly I want these videos to be if I want to show you the entire cleaning process and then you can see the glittery city afterward. We'll figure it out as we go along. Let's just keep cleaning out in here for now while it's dark out there. I don't want my flashlight to uh, draw any of the feral ghouls. So that was one of those things that's kind of like, it looks broken, it was halfway in the ground, but it's actually a perfectly usable chair. Yay. I don't think I'll need any of those old boxes of files. The world has finally moved on. Which is a strangely comforting thought. Someday all of your boxes of files will just be completely meaningless. Just be trash. Alright, fridge door still works, so I'll leave that. And one more chair. Oh, let's take the coffee pot. Never know when you're gonna need a coffee pot. Alright, that's all fine. Right, the couch. Put the welcome mat outside. What is wrong with you people? The weird part, though, is it says welcome at this orientation, but the, the design of the curve on top makes me want to put it this way, because that, that makes sense with the house. They've made all sorts of design mistakes on these rugs, let me tell you. Or I have. One of the two. And of the two of us, I'm not paid to design rugs, so I think you don't listen to me. Old file cabinet with no drawers. It's not gonna help me much. It's in this suitcase. Ooh, a sequin dress. Might come in handy. Might come very, very much in handy. As right now, I, I do not have a sequin dress. 
Huh, apparently I can't move that suitcase. I can only scrap it. So I will scrap it, because it looks like it's teetering on the edge of oblivion there. Alright, don't need a sink that's not attached to the wall. Wonder why they put stool in the bathroom. Seems like a weird choice. Like, who would... Who would go to the bathroom just to put stool there? I don't understand. Okay, so the inside of the main, uh, main house should now be clean. Let's take a quick jaunt around the outside. Nice weapons workbench. But I guess I don't need any of this surrounding trash. And all of it has components that will help me make stuff later, so it's worth selling. Leave that one with the wrench up. We get rid of these two. Leave that cabinet. Get rid of these cinder blocks. Can I put this up here? Sure. are prepared, they're planted, but they need a settler assigned to them in order to harvest them as a food resource, is what it's telling me. And there's room to plant more stuff back here, if I want. Let me turn off my flashlight for a small moment of uh, nighttime elegance. Occasionally, I'll find myself just, uh, staring off into space. What's not to love? Looks like you can practically see another galaxy in the distance over there. Beautiful. There's something magical about the, uh, Nighttime. In this, the the deepness of it. So we're not making any uh, janitorial progress whatsoever. I'm just wasting your time looking at trees. Let's take care of this fallen, fallen log. And some of the surrounding trash. Get that old flashlight back up. There we go. Jalopies. It's another fully ruined house. We might as well take it out.
swiftly back around into our first uh, corner here by the river. gas station in the distance there. All lit up. The bathtub that we will never speak of after this moment. This is my uh, guy, by the way. Let me get next to a light source. If you are curious as to who's doing all this cleaning, this is my guy, Guy. Or Guy, if you're from certain parts of the world. Closer to being a full fledged post apocalyptic cleaning musical. I don't know if the world is ready, but here it comes. Oh, that's much nicer. Nice and flat. Located and it's blown clear out the back. The problem with uh, having a largely atomic fusion based society is that when nukes go off, oh boy, the chain reaction of every other tiny nuke that you're driving around in. It's the, uh, the wider concern. roundabout here, trying to clear the street. And making some progress. Looks good. First of many early morning half-hearted Reese Darby impersonations. Which I apologize ahead of time. Oh, I so think that should be removable, but okay. You're the boss. 
so that might be about as good as I can get uh, this street. Such a tiny piece of leave there. Just a, just a leaf or two. Cute car. I've been uh, removing these just because they're so rusty, but that one seems well placed. Leave one, I suppose. It was uh, just to add to the creep factor, as though this this, but uh, this wasn't enough of a creep factor. Just to add to the creep factor, the uh, bombs, or whatever, the, the war, the Great War, began, I believe, on uh, October 23rd, which was Halloween night, or just before it. So the world kind of stopped dead in its tracks, um, with everything decorated for Halloween. So you'll occasionally see uh, things like this still set up. Even though it's been hundreds of years, it's still Halloween in all of our hearts. Give me them shrubs. Let's clear that out. Oh, so sorry. Epilepsy warning here. There we go. Hard to get a, uh, angle on those guys. I'm assuming we must have almost uh, lasted the night here. It has been dark for quite some time. And I hope that any of this, uh, this recent work has even been visible. some reason. Even though I keep saying we should find a house, I'm not doing it. And you can't make me. Unless you offer financial incentive, really. And then you can make me. You can make me do anything. Within reason, I feel I should clarify. the world could not have ended in nuclear fire. That, that would be better. Um, sorry.
It's looking pretty good. If I do say so. Do I? Did I just? It's difficult to remember. So long ago. some of that, some more of these nasty bushes, and then finally, as promised, let's, let's go in this house. But first, let's clear the walkway of this house. No tricycles here. This is a tricycle-free zone. Because the, uh, chances of it being used by some sort of hideously mutated, I don't know, gnome creature? Too high. I want to hear a little squeaky squeaky through the woods and look back behind me to find Mr. Nomington evilly grinning as he pedals furiously towards me. Tricycle free zone. these good people's, good people's home. I guess it was me a long time ago. I am the good people's. And this was my home. But it's not my home now. My home is with Codsworth. We're not saving that door. C'est la vie. to get rid of some big hedges. And given the chance, sure, let's get rid of those big hedges. This will really open us up to attack from the, uh, the north. I have no way of knowing. My compass is not active in this menu. I imagine that's the north. stuck here all day, just fiddling with mounds. Also hope that I happen upon a, a chest full of mounds, candy bars, because th that would be great. Some brief product placement for you there. It's over now, I promise. But you know what's not over. The deep, deep coconut taste of ma- <sighs> So once again, I ran into the house. I said I was going to clean it. I ran right back out into the backyard of the house. I did not clean it. You will not get me to do chores. <sighs> okay, I'll go do chores. It's time. 
comes a time in all of our lives where we just have to walk into the house and do our chores. Okay. Hello? Housekeeping? Did you guys want to keep this house or, or no? No? Okay. sink setup. Nice-ish shower and a fairly intact toilet. What has everyone else in the neighborhood been doing that my toilet was able to stay so intact? I now have deep concerns about my neighbors. Here's the original box that Codsworth came in. A little, little backstory. This is where he, uh, he originated from, if you are curious. And that's what we put in him. To make him run. Or hover, as the case may be. He doesn't do much running. So I'm assuming I can just leave these for now. They don't look too much like trash. I'm trying to maintain anything that doesn't look too much like trash up to and including these these dressers, which are pushing it, let me tell you. They are pushing the limit. That actually has a picture in it, which is better than any of the other ones I found. But I'm still uh, tempted to scrap it. This looks like trash. I'm scrapping the picture. It's, it's, it's gonna drive me crazy. There we go. Now it's not. is a nice chair. Not sure if it's necessary. Um, but we'll leave it. Into the child's room. Let's scrap all of the child's things. I'm scrapping the chair. Chair's out of here. The chair is toast. book. If, uh, if you're curious, coming through this later, don't forget that book. Okay, I think that's this house taken care of. Well, nope. I've got the entire entrance area. Premature much? Jeez. Okay, no backless chairs. Cabinet can stay. I suppose this chair can stay, though I am disappointed in it. No backless chairs. And this chair can stay. Okay. Opening the fridge. Taking out the milk. Closing the fridge. Dissolving the milk into matter particulates. L little bits of glass. Oh, that's a nice bread box. I'll leave it. Nice cabinets. Can I correct the pepper? The salt? No. I cannot correct the salt. Oh well, I'll leave it regardless. But this saucepan lid, no. Saucepan lid is a step too far. Oh, not the kitchen counter. There we go. Saucepan. Coffee. Oh, cute little tea kettle. Put that on the table. 
pride of place. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that, because that looks like a, a real forehead experience. Put the American flag back up. Eh. Ha halfway through a shelf, as is flag code, I believe. Yeah, flag code is to just store it halfway through a shelf. Yeah, sure. That'll that'll work. That'll show off my patriotic spirit. Correct the Ottoman. Lovely. Maybe I can put it halfway through a shelf. Yay! Now that's that's a real uh, death trap if you come in here and trip over the the entryway. Just how I like it. Okay, that should be relatively good. Let's let's call that relatively good. Any more trash on the floor? All right, and give me my comic Bingo. book. Thank you. Thank you for this comic book. Okay, looks like sun's coming back up in a bit. I suppose I can turn off my flashlight now. So, before I forget and get too distracted, I'm going to go back through the houses towards the entrance that I haven't already cleaned. Let's make sure we have those set. Turn my flashlight back on for just another moment. Not quite time yet. a bottle of the aforementioned Nuka Cola. And here is a tin can. Not sure if you've ever seen anything like that before. It's pretty neat. Okay, kitchen is clear. Daddy. No, let's never say that again. Let's, let's pretend that that was not said. Is there 
There's a milk bottle under there. covering up a much, much nastier looking thing, but oh well. Oh, that's, that's so nice. Living room set up. Happily live in here, in this room. And call it my living room. This guy had a lot of files. As every every bed frame smashed into the ground. I mean, I think I know why, <clears throat> but still. You calm your love antics is all I'm suggesting. Doesn't, doesn't have to be so raucous. room has seen better days. Even the towel rack is just given up on the floor. And this one didn't, but... Ah, scrapped now. Ha unhappy ending. I will leave the bathtub, just so you know what was once here. That's a pretty desk. Better not recycle it. Who knows who might need a desk. Alright, so it is officially light. I can turn off my uh, flashlight now. It's looking better around here for sure. Just getting rid of some of those brown, uh, brown bushes has done wonders. Let's keep, keep on our mission of clearing out these houses. Don't get distracted. This was the Abel? The Abel household. Something like that. in the workbench. Is everyone flipping their ottomans? Oh, yeah, you know, more, more cockroaches. Pardon me one moment. There we go. Just 
Let's take care of those cockroaches. And as per the last badge, oh, I just tossed him. Uh -huh. As per the last badge, let's throw these in the in the gully so that they don't attract bears. Be careful. I suppose in this universe that'd be so that they don't attract Yaogwai, which is much much worse than bears. And my blood all over the place. Good, good. That's the way to decorate. Let's put all of our seating options over here in the stool corner. scrap it, but okay. Maybe I can correct this one. No. That one's just gonna have to do. As is. Ah, cigar. Lovely. some yum yum deviled eggs from the early 2070s. Leaves in the shower. Just uh, take care of that Walt Whitman poem real quick. Anything good in here? Oh, more purified water. Mmm. Tasty. Once again, the raucous lovemaking has destroyed this bed frame, and it must be repurposed. <sighs> People of this suburb, I tell ya. Sick. Alright, that should be great. Have a little room with a hat rack back there for someone who has hats. Give me just one moment here, if I can get back inside. There we go. One moment here, I'll be right back. Well, that was boring. I should have left you at least looking out the uh, the window into some grass here, or something. My apologies. So the inside of this house should be good. Let me take a quick pass around the backyard here. Just 
just to tidy up a bit. Don't have many weeds that need to be whacked uh, around here. No need for a weed whacker, for sure. We'll scrap that. these hedges in a batch action. That sounds saucier than I intended. to scrap dog houses because I think they might be needed at some point for when all the dogs come flying back. Not sure when exactly that happens in the Fallout timeline, but the, the great return of the dogs, I'm sure, is scheduled. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Alright, do I need a big thing of grass back here? No, I don't think I do. I don't think that's necessary. Ah, I was probably just keeping that fence. Keeping that fence from looking weird, but ah, it's, it's gone now. The fence is just gonna look weird. Scrapping picket fences that I see falling over. Alright, I think we're up into the next house now. I'm gonna race this back to City Hall real quick. I am incorrectly calling City Hall. Oh, it's heavy. Have all this telekinesis. Oh, box of cigars. Yummy. Nutrients in the air should keep me satisfied for days. one. There we go. Okay, back to here before I forget. I think this is the one we just cleaned. Yes, it is. So, moving on to this one. Ah, yes. A little trash in the entryway. care of that by now. crossover reference. Mm -hmm. Alright, 
Alright, I learned my lesson last time. I think I'm just gonna leave that rug for now. Replace it later. If needed. A nice television ready to go there. Just needs to be hooked up to a power source. And then we'll all have our, uh, our shows. Our stories. Just gather around this single shadeless lamp and watch what happens to Baby Yoda next. There. That's all of my, uh, all of my corporate references. I've hit the checklist. This chair back out here. I don't know why it's in the closet. end up moving it to another house that is, uh, devoid of chairs. Who knows? Ah, I bet I can... Ah, I shouldn't have scrapped that. <laughs> I bet I can fix those outside of build mode. I'm trying to find a way to set them back upright as trash cans. And I can probably just do it manually. That was silly of me. But oh well. I'm sure there will be more trash cans. Once again, you know what happened. Come on. Give me those leaves. Give me that saucy pile. There you go. Alright, so there's a safe with what appears to be a trap attached to it. Won't that be fun? I'm gonna get rid of that patio chair and bring this chair in. Ding dong. This chair has a use. There we go. Okay, let's grab this. Never know when that'll come in handy. Old shower gun. Disarm the tension trigger. Disarm the makeshift bomb. Don't have any bobby pins. And I still don't have any, uh, hairpins. But oh well. Alright, last room. We have a circular table. Nice. Go with a circular rug. Try this. No, I don't think I can pick up this chair for some reason. So it must be trash. Giddy up, Buttercup. Every girl's fantasy now a reality for only sixteen thousand dollars. Okay, that uh, looks pretty good. Leave one more shadeless lamp. And move on. Looking much, much better. So I think we have this whole side, this whole side of the street, houses are clean, clear up to the city hall area there. I can't remember if this was one of the ones we did, I think it was. Yes, the very first. 
Missed a picture frame. How shameful. Alright, so that is looking pretty good. moving through for stragglers. I think I will go ahead and get rid of all the rusty, uh, rusty mailboxes. Why not? It's not as if the postal service is running. Some of these gates are just looking too nasty. Let's leave it there always remove this whole section of fence because it's floating. Let's remove the witch fence. Just to, to prevent uh, frightening the less progressive townspeople. Here we are. Decision made. No going back now. Filled with regret. Something nicer in these boxes than a bunch of brown crust. Thank you. Just try to have that end at posts instead of trailing off. If nothing else. to my shins. any curbside stuff here. I think it should be pretty good. No? Spoke too soon. Gotta get rid of that curbside stuff. Racing back down the street. Anytime now. 
make out some semblance of a sidewalk here. gonna get even more rusty. Rosa. Time for a little city hall vine cleanup. Methinks. People are still using methinks in daily conversation, aren't they? So it's about to get dark again, and this time I'm thinking uh, we might as well just skirt the night. While it is lovely, we, we have work to do. So let me see if I can find a bed here real quick. Any kind of bed, really? Sure. Throw it in City Hall somewhere. Not in the bathroom. That would just be weird. The City Hall building doesn't really have a, a designated bedroom. Could use Sean's room. Yes. Let's use Sean's room. Because nobody cares about Sean. Okay. So instead of a... Uh, Flashlighting it throughout when it gets too dark here. We'll run in and wait. There we go. So there are some sections of dirt like this that you just can't get rid of. I'll have to try to find a way to uh, make use of them. about these picnic tables. This one's missing benches, and these benches are broken. So I could just remove the picnic tables entirely. It's, it's not gonna matter. No benches. Who, who needs them? All right. 
definitely have not cleaned this house yet, but let's wait and continue going in sequence. Despite the fact that I'm now decimating the backyard. Ahem. has definitely uh, been through some things. Practically none of it salvageable. That's okay. Sometimes fences just go through some things. dark enough now. Let me dart in here momentarily. some much needed rest in our brand new bed. Ah, oh, that's nice. And I probably could have gone for one more hour. Let's let's do it. There we go. Sun's just peeking up. bringing up. Hey, Codsworth. There must be something hanging in there, my friend. Sure. Sure. So, how 
was not sure when I started this uh, how long it may take to clean an entire town. Apparently the answer is several hours. So we may at some point need to split this into another part. But I'm not sure. There may be a good ending spot. That will pop out and surprise us. Who knows? It seems like we have quite a bit of work left to do. Blissfully so. If we can at least clean the, uh, the rest of the houses out this time through... I probably should have been focusing on that exclusively. And then we can focus on uh, other things later, perhaps. I will have to first figure out if this is even of any interest to anyone. Or why I find this so strangely compelling. Why not? They should have a toaster. Get rid of these bloat flies. Ooh. Gentle. Don't make it explode in the kitchen. Okay. I have a nickel for every time I had to say gentle, don't make it explode in the kitchen. Let me tell you. this table into the corner where it should be. up, turn my flashlight back off. We have one, two, two houses remaining. That's an achievable goal before we put a little, uh, little intermission in. Let's do it. Well, there I am again, still burly and silver-haired, as is my wont. just some of these little crannies. Some of the really lit crannies deserve a flashlight. Push you up against the window. Recycle another dilapidated bed. A long line of dilapidated bed recycling. Another safe. This would be a good spot for a bed, too. A new bed. In fact, while I'm right here, let's throw a new bed in.
All right. Circular rug. Taking down all the old wallpaper stuck in the corners. There we go. I don't think that ceiling fan is going to work again, so I might as well scrap it. Perfect. There's another interior cleaned. Let me run around the outside. Just for big things. Curious about this, since it's so close to the roof. Aha! I can get up here. So if I remove that, uh, that stump and hedge, you will no longer be able to get up here, but we can put stairs in. It's no big deal. So probably shouldn't be jumping around quite so recklessly up here, from the looks of it. So I will not worry about that. I will just get rid of the hedges. Perfect. street. That would be crazy. Okay, I think we can leave most of this. It should be far enough just look wild. So we got a whole bunch of bloat fly corpses in the backyard. Not much we can do about that. But oh well. Something for the kids. This house next. Just clean up the road a bit on the way. for me to uh, 
show you what it looked like before again, but I guess you, you can jump back in the video. It, uh, it's hopefully much improved. the other way with it. Oh well. This will be a, a empty house with, with not as much furniture. Alright, TV's all set up. That should be fine. Clear out some of this paraphernalia so the owner doesn't get in trouble. Caps. Caps for the Cap Lord. Backless chair. You get out of here. There's a stool in every room. What an unpleasant surprise. I hate it when I walk into a house and there's a stool in every room. In fact, I'm gonna scrap this stool. It's too many. It's too many stools. There, the trash can closet. Though I would like for that desk to be uh, pushed into the corner, if at all possible. in the whole bedroom. Never mind. Once again, remove that. That's fine. Rubble and trash, get out of here. And no more stools. dust. Ah, some mute fruit bushes. Those uh, can act as a food source, but I'm not sure if the wild ones do. I guess we'll have to find out. There's another gourd. Over in our farm area, real quick, before we come back to this house. In the final, final house cleanup. And because we've been 
uh, well, I've been so distracted getting the, uh, the streets, etc. Free of leaves, we might actually not have much more to do after this house. So I'll take a quick look around the, uh, the grounds as well after this house is here. And then we might actually be able to call that a full run of Sanctuary Hills. Pardon my, my lips. <clears throat> okay, so we can't get rid of any of those. Oh, that cord. But uh, no time for that now. This keeps catching my eye out here, even though it's so far out, it's just dark and, uh, bushy. I guess those are stuck in the, uh, the border. There we go, that's fine. Nice, nice bare, empty area. I'm good with that. This house. as good as it's gonna get for this this sidewalk. It's a little broken up in places. There's a big dog house. But it already has a bowl. Oh. <laughs> I'm assuming these are actually like Grave graves. Like before the war, someone died and was buried in the backyard. Or perhaps a dog was buried in the backyard. So it seems really, really disrespectful of me to dig up the grave in order to, uh, to scrap. So maybe I'll just leave those as, uh, natural features and not be haunted for the rest of my days. There's my logic. Little love it exists. Uh, a couple more bits of foliage out here. Cinder blocks. I would love to just get rid of the vine part of those trees and not the full thing. But oh well. Let's just get rid of it. I want a nice, as clear an eye line as possible. The trees themselves aren't that big a deal, but when you get into all that little vine, vine stuff like that, it's just ugly. And I'm not sure about this, uh, this playground gear. It's like such a unique 
feature. I'm, I'm hesitant to get rid of it, but it's very unnatural and very rusty, which makes me want to get rid of it. Especially this swing set. Yeah. That felt good. Let's go for it. Ah. I'm also going to get rid of this, this patio furniture. Well, I'm sure there's a time and a place for patio furniture. This, this is not it. it somewhere later. There you go. Alright. That can go. One moment before we enter this house, I will be uh, right back. Freshly caffeinated. It's very important. More bits of sidewalk fluff to take care of. Let's call that good. distract me from going into this house. <laughs> because that means I have to end it, and I don't get to be with you all. After I go in this house, it's, it's all over. Oh well. Alright, last uh, hoarder's junk pile. This is a good one. Good hoarder's junk pile. Guess I will leave the television in case we can use it later. Get rid of that very dilapidated bookcase. No thank you. So this has a nice big room in here. It's the only one I've seen where the kitchen is uh, part of the main room and not like in a side room, which makes me want to remove the kitchen entirely uh, to have it be like a big community area. Should be kind of nice. I'll just call this the new city hall. So I don't want to take too much of anything I could use. So, 
I guess I deleted the table already. Oh well, I'll delete the chairs as well. Fate has decided it for me. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. And or madam. It's hard to tell this late in the decomposition process. Everything must go, except perhaps this couch. Because, yeah, that looks nice. Well, not the chair, though. Get out of here. I'll keep one couch for a uh, super cozy sitting time. Which is every Thursday. Don't miss it. Doesn't come around again until next week. You have to stand the entire time. Oh, I really wish it was letting me clean those, uh, stomped cans. But okay. Oh, there it was. Eh? It's <laughs> pitched under the wall there pretty good. So sorry. Make you seasick. Gonna make me seasick. Ah, oh, so close every time. Here we go. Eh? Oh, I almost had it. <laughs> this is a nightmare. Just a full nightmare. Maybe from the other side? It will be more effective. Oh, I will, yeah. If it's possible, I will not give up until these cans. Come on. Just land on it. Well, this is thrilling. So glad we got through that together. That, that was difficult. More so than it should have been. Thank you for bearing with me. Alright, we still have a sink attached to the wall. I'll leave the bathtub. We'll get rid of the towel rack. Since we have a good towel rack. Bed is gone. Bloat fly is gone. Ooh. Dresser with a radio, and something underneath. Cigarettes. No more trash in here. Please stand up. There you go. You got the cigarettes, so now you can stand up. So yeah, I think I'll leave that as is. And finally... Find a bobby pin. There's probably some in this town. I just missed them. Either that, or there were some in the vault that I didn't grab. I think that uh, that does it, though. I think that's the interior. Sans one bloat fly. All clean. problem. No big deal. Circle around this window for those Halloween decorations real quick. Do, 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 do. Oh, 
Otherwise, I think we may be good to go. So this is exclusively, uh, cleaning. Minus the, the light posts I put in earlier. With, uh, no, no rebuilding performed yet. But here's the upper cul-de-sac, all clear. We have clean down to the river. Minus that bathtub that will haunt me forever. As much as we could remove, removed. The, uh, town sign is clear. Uh, a couple more things here. Nice. Alright, town sign is clear, backyards are clear. Got the gym equipment out of there. We've got a small farm going. So that when settlers finally arrive to keep Codsworth company, they'll have something to eat. Seems pretty clear to me, minus the parts we can't, uh, can't do anything about. I think this is good. So that is effectively the scoop. You start with a whole bunch of, uh, gross trash and leaves, and you end up with something that looks somewhat better, though it's still quite rusty. Satisfaction in its purest form. So at this point, you can go on to, uh, build all manner of things. There are pre-made pre structures that you can put together. Or have, uh, have other people put together for you. You can add, uh, lights and stairs and, uh, decorations of various kinds. There's campfires and cigarette machines. Just about anything you could, uh, you could want. So now the wasteland, freshly cleaned, is yours to do with as you see fit. Which I think is a very enjoyable concept. So we may, in the future, return to Sanctuary so that I can uh, do a little building out, help a few settlers, etc. But this is stage one. Fully complete and clean and full of leaves. Or, or removed. Not full of leaves, let's say. Keep hoping I'll have missed some room or some stash of, of scrub brush so that I can keep keep talking to you. But it's not to be. Thank you very much for your kind indulgence on this far too long journey of cleanliness and hygiene. I will see you uh, once again next time, wherever we end up. Thank you for joining me in Sanctuary Hills.